This 50 Campfire segment is brought to you by the Rugged Lantern from Zippo Outdoor. Hey campers, I want to talk to you about the Grubbs Treeline 8.5 SP today. It's a winterized rubber boot that's good down to 40 below Fahrenheit. Uh, we ran into the folks over at Grubbs at SHOT Show this year. They were fantastic people to hang out with, very nice, and they hooked uh, my coworker and I up with a couple pairs of boots to do a little bit of field testing with. So what I have here is the Treeline 8.5. Let's take a closer look. First off, before we get into kind of more of the features of the boot, I just want to show you guys how they come off and on. The folks over at Grubbs showed me this, and I don't know that I would have discovered it on my own, but because this material is so flexible here, you just roll it down easily, and then it's a lot easier to slip them off and on. So same thing if you're going to put the boot back on, makes it a lot easier and it just pops right up. So really slick. Now let's get into the features of the boot a little bit closer. All right, let's take a look at the boot from, from the top down. So the reason it's called the 8.5 is that it has uh, five milliliters of this uh, kind of buoyant insulating foam uh, and then three milliliters of something called high loft and then a half millimeter of a polyester moisture wicking fleece. And you can see that on the inside here. You can see that when I, when I kind of stretch the boot out a little bit, it's very stretchy material on top. Uh, it's also very light. And I have to say in terms of, because you hear moisture waking all the time, but uh, when I was, I wore these for, kind of became my go-to boot for the last part of the winter here. Uh, it was very cold. I did all the snow blowing in these because they're light, easy to get around. And uh, I didn't have sweaty feet, so that, that part of it worked out really well. Uh, moving further down, you can see that the uh, rubber goes up. The whole boot's waterproof, but the rubber goes up about halfway. There's a reinforced toe here. It's not a steel toe, but as you get further out on the toe, I mean, you'd have a pretty, you'd have a pretty hard time um, getting that to compress. So you do have a fair amount of protection there. And then when you flip the boot over, very aggressive tread on these and that was ended up being one of my favorite things about them uh, in terms of running around sort of uh, towards the end of winter when it's starting to get a little bit more icy a little bit slushy a little bit watery but still very cold i really appreciated that they're a little bit dirty right now but it's a vibram outsole on the bottom here and you can see that it's pretty aggressive uh, other than that my, my other experience with them was that i grew up with your basic uh, kind of cheap green rubber boots where your sock falls down, your feet get really sweaty, and they're just, you only put them on if you have to, if it's like the sloppiest time of the year. So it took me a while to wrap my mind around the idea of a winterized rubber boot because I just, I thought all those other things were going to be present in the experience of wearing them, and they really weren't. Uh, like I said, my feet stayed dry, and it really became, the Treeline 8.5 really became my go-to for a boot. Uh, for this winter so looking forward to doing more running around in these next winter if you're looking for a lightweight rubber boot for the winter check them out